Good morning, y'all. How are you going? Um, I thought I'd give you a quick video. I recorded it yesterday, but it didn't look right. So, just some technical difficulties. I am doing it again today. So, hopefully, you see me all right. It's like daylight over there, regular light over here, and it's like a bit great. That's my drone. <laughs> so, I want to address um, like a little message thing that I've been having. Like a few people have been commenting on my videos, so I just want to like address that for a little bit. Then I'll tell you a couple of cool things uh, that's been happening on this trip that I have found really helpful and useful, and I'm gonna set going, get going with this day. But today is for the previous day. This video is for the previous day. Anyway, uh, the trip's been going really awesome, and the. Um, comment i've been getting quite a few comments on where is the footage of the actual ride like i i've had that in like a previous tour as well and um look i absolutely love giving you guys the vlogs I absolutely love giving you videos of the ride and mix it with whatever i'm staying where i'm doing whatever all that stuff that happens through the day i love doing that and i am really really thankful and grateful that you are you know, find something interesting, amusing, maybe entertaining on this channel, and it's worthwhile to you. But the thing that happens um, every time, you know, after, like, how are my days scheduled during these trips, right? Because it's unsupported, it's solo, it's, um, you, you only got like a limited amount of time, you have to cross and do this, this many Ks. You need to make sure that you have a place to stay, uh, you have food, you have all these different things, right? So what I usually do, the, um, what is that, what do you call it, like the schedule, the way I do uh, the, the videos during the trips is I way I do like a daily or every couple of days like a little video on the road saying hey I'm doing good I'm in good spirits or whatever I have learned this and that during the trip already this and that has happened I'm over here this is pretty cool here you go um they're little ranty videos or little talk me talking to the camera really and just kind of going on about what's been happening and a lot of people find them interesting and amusing and I guess for others it is just like a check-in to say hey like I'm doing good I'm still going with the trip and this is all that's been going on and it's happening I understand and I agree uh, that videos of the is this better I don't know the sliding is insane um, the videos of the ride, the actual ride, are really, really cool. I absolutely agree with that. But I don't actually get time to edit them and play with them once I get to the accommodation. Like, I haven't been able to find time because I get in and it's like 9 p.m. or something. And I put everything on charge. I wash my clothes. I find some sort of food. And then it's like 11 o'clock. Seriously, like I've caught up with a couple of people and said, hey, I'm in, like in this place, whatever. Letting like my family know where I'm at, basically. So I don't actually get a chance to sit around, play with the footage that I record and do things like that particularly much at all. So I don't want to just kind of pump out whatever, right? Like in terms of these like daily vlog videos. So what I usually do is I do my daily videos like this, uh, wherever I am, whatever I'm thinking, whatever's going on. And then I get home and I edit all the footage from the actual rides, from the day. It also helps me like relive the adventure and I can actually, I have more time to put in more effort into making the videos better like finding the right music, finding the right shots and all that kind of stuff. I have more time. Otherwise, if I was to do it during the trip, I'd be up till like three in the morning or whatever doing it. And then I won't be able to get up and do as many case uh, the next day. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you understand. I hope that's okay with you. If you prefer the vlogs of the rides and things like that, that those kind of videos, please just simply wait until the, I have done with the trip and it's up to you like I appreciate every time you comment or watch videos or you know I'm glad when I you find them interesting and entertaining but at the same time you know like 
it is what it is um, and different in different times and different stages I'm able to produce and give you different kinds of videos so hopefully that answers that question now we get on to the actual information so something that I never thought of or haven't realized is um, well I have never really talked about it is the cell services I don't think I've talked about it so if you were to go touring in Australia um, I would advise going with Telstra because Telstra has a much better uh, remote uh, coverage remote areas coverage in Australia I'm with Vodafone and that has worked perfectly fine for me at times I had no coverage like you know no data or whatever but it's it worked for me so always it, it's been fine for me personally but if you were to go in remote more remote areas I would strongly advise going with Telstra so in America I have learned that I'm with AT&T I got myself an AT&T SIM card and in times I have noticed that the coverage isn't ideal right you either don't have internet or you have no service like there were back like back in Kansas especially the first couple of days I had like completely no service and it was like a little you know um, yeah <laughs> it just yeah it gets like that so um, what I have learned is one would rather should rather be going with the service provider called Verizon because that gets a much better coverage when you're in remote areas so a lot of people out in the middle of Kansas and farms they'll with Verizon because it's a much better connection AT&T works and especially if you're going to stick to bigger cities bigger towns it probably will be fine and you'll have internet and stuff as well and it depends up to you right how you do it whether you have two phones one will have your home roaming sim card one will have local sim card whether you have just one phone with the local sim card whether you have one of those phones that can do two sim cards dual sim cards it's up to you but there is a thing uh, if you're in Australia use Telstra if you are uh, like traveling around and we're just gonna get some sort of service provider for a month I'd say Telstra will be better coverage and in states I'd go with Verizon next time I'm here because I feel like it's much better coverage and from my experience so there's that thing um, another thing that I haven't really talked about much but I think it's um, pretty important you can say pretty it's pretty different I got new shoes for the strip new clip-ins they clip in mountain bike shoes they clip in into my Shimano a T530 I think the cold are the pedals which are flat on one side and clip in on the other side so these are the specialized um, Riata I know they're a bit dirty because I've been riding obviously for a week now but they're pretty cool they're bright yellow with a bit of black so I love how they stand out like they're really I mean yeah I love the color I love the high business color um, I again I have them with velcro and I either go for the velcro for the little dial or for the little you know those things kind of shoes I don't go for cycling shoes that have laces just so the laces don't get caught into something and something different I'm doing with this trip as I'll show you I actually like the these shoes by the way they're pretty light they're comfy they with my other shoes my older shoes whenever it rains the water would like get inside and it would be make the shoe much heavier um, well with these shoes you don't get that I really yeah they're cool um, I bought a special insole so these insoles they don't come with the shoes and there are like three different levels you can go from one to three and what it is there's like basically a little connection on the other side and it's like firm and it raises your makes your food make like I'd explain it it gives a little lift to your arch gives support to the arch of your food and I just got, got it from these are the what's this specialized body geometry insoles um how do i put it 
I this costs about $30 and I want to try it out on this trip these are basically good if not everybody needs these right and they're different levels as well when you go to a bike shop especially if you're looking to buying your shoes and stuff they have like a special little pad thing which you stand on and depending on how high up your arches on your foot um, they will advise you one of these different things and um, you just try them out basically just try them out in my last um, few tours I was just doing it with the previous shoes and no nothing like this and although the weight of the bike was much lighter back in those trips I found that I still was getting like I mean obviously you work out and it's only natural for your body to get tired right uh, but I found that there was just more uh, wear on the knee and I would get sometimes like pains on the knees basically and whether it is due to these insoles or whether it is due to my muscles just simply getting stronger because I've been doing this for a year not straight but I've been doing this for a year um, one or the other my my muscles feel absolutely fine and I've never haven't really had any kind of tingling on any side or anything so I find that these are pretty good so instead of your foot being like this and you slightly like right if you have a really high up arch that means like it's like that like normally and if you're pedaling it's gonna be a little bit especially if you're like putting in pressure constantly all day long, right? It's just going to be a little slightly, so slightly tilted. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with your foot. It just means that is the way your foot is built, right? It's no big deal. Um, so what this does, it, it lifts it a little bit and it makes it straight. So instead of like that, pedaling a little bit like that, I'm exaggerating of course, but you get what I mean. You pedal like that yeah so it's straight up so it's just much easier on your muscles as well so look into getting these if you're going for thousands of kilometer trips right and you're wanting something but you might even want to start using it for my regular your regular day riding like that's what I'm going to do when I'm gonna come back because I'm actually really liking the I'm really liking riding with this it, my foot really feels straight in the shoe and different areas of the foot I'm able to push evenly and kind of distribute that force right onto the pedal and it just makes it easier on your body basically so look into that if you're going on a longer trip or just go you don't even have to buy it just go into a store try it out put it in a cycling show walk around a little bit see how it feels how different it feels if it feels better or worse or whatever and yeah as I said there are three different types so depending on what kind of foot structure you have you try out a different one so anyway that's that so hopefully that was helpful so to summarize the vlogs are coming with the writing sorry I haven't been able to post them during the tour but it'll all gets collected and you will all get it and it'll be super cool and super awesome <sighs> to uh, go with Verizon when you're in America and touring and going remote and when, if you're in, going coming to Australia go with Telstra because it's much better coverage I go with Vodafone and if you are cycling along the coast Vodafone is fine and it's cheaper as well Telstra is a little bit more expensive, just like Verizon in America is a little bit more expensive, but it works fine. Um, and it has better coverage in remote areas. And three are the shoes and the insoles. Right. Check it out, see if it might be helpful and make the trip more enjoyable for you and more enjoyable for your body as well. Anyway, it's 40 minutes. I better get going and get this day started. I have quite a few cases to get to do and to cover and I hope you are having a beautiful wonderful productive day you're having a good time thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye